heaters, doesn't matter which type it is. Um, you want, especially when they've been sitting all winter long, you haven't used them yet. One thing, you know, you want to check, that coming out is our spark plug. Um, these are usually pretty well set up. And uh, Snap-on makes some really good quarter size uh, air guns. This is a butterfly. Um, it's got the 45. Then the pistol grip. But in this one I want to use the butterfly. The reason for that is that it's got a high low. So I can switch that over to the low. Um, and then just go forward and reverse. And so we want to bring in our air. Since I'm using 3.8 on there, I'm going to use one of these 3.8 sockets. I'm going to want a deep socket. So. Once we got it out, we want to look it over. See, it looks pretty, pretty old up. So, let's come on. We're gonna get our tester for the gap. See what the gap setting is on it. We're going to set it probably about 25 on that. Now we'll take our uh, water brush. We want to kind of clean up the top of it a little bit. back in gotta be real careful not to cross thread these I'm gonna switch back to a ratchet when I put them in don't And you ain't got to get all crazy with tightening it. Just make it snug. Like I said earlier, check on the inside. Make sure that you got good contact with it. Let's see if that'll... No. Do that again. For some reason, weeds are the hardest starting piece of equipment a man can have. It's 
so I'm not going to sit there and pull all day long. And... Make sure you always put it in the on position. A lot of folks get confused with the circle and the flat line. The flat line is on. It's kind of like a running straight through. The circle would block it when it's off. So we're going to turn that on. Um, I'm going to need a screwdriver. This is probably about a mid-size. Let's see if I have, have this one. Take your uh, filter out, your air filter. Want to kind of check it over pretty good. This one's kind of falling apart a little bit. That looks pretty clean in there. Since we had it upside down, it appears that it's got a little gas on there and it's kind of tore on me. And not that much, it's just harder to find one. Jesus. I'm just going to put that filter in there and then wring it out. Alright, now we're going to get rid of this off of there. And I'd suggest that uh, getting a new one for it when it's in this kind of shape. It's, it's just Anyway, all right, we're going to make sure you turn your choke all the way up. Remember, flat line. We're going to hit a little starting fluid in there. gas mixture when you got to put the oil in it. I don't know if you saw it whenever I revved it up. It blew a little bit of blue smoke out. That's a good thing. It means it's getting the, the mixtures correct. I run a little a little higher than than what they recommend. Um, yeah, now we're ready to put it all back together. I just 
I don't understand. I'm gonna just get a new one. Okay, well, that should do it, should be ready to go again, but uh, we're just going to run out and fire it up one more time. Let's get her done.